friends out there, I wanted to share a story with you today that I thought was so cute when I read it. It says, um, it says, little Johnny received a new pair of shoes. And I brought a pair of shoes as an example. They were just the ones he wanted and boy did they shine. Johnny put them on and proudly strolled through the town admiring them as he walked. Nothing could spoil that day. Now you guys have all, I'm sure, had brand new shoes and you want to make sure that they are nice. All of a sudden it began to rain and Johnny, having not paid any attention to how far he had walked, found himself quite a ways from home. The rain came down harder and harder and Johnny, he picked up his steps as he headed home no longer paying attention to the beautiful new shoes and troubled by the storm around him, Johnny didn't notice all of the mud puddles along the way. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. You could hear his shoes as they slashed through the, uh, each puddle. When Johnny arrived home, he looked down at his new shoes and they were a mess. Not only were they wet, now none of you've had this problem before, not only were they wet, but they were covered in mud. Johnny began to cry. His beautiful shoes were all ruined. Mama could hear Johnny crying as she entered the room. What in the world is wrong, Johnny, she asked. Looking down at his shoes, he replied, my shoes, they're all ruined. <laughs> Mommy sat Johnny in the chair and removed his shoes. She gently wiped them with the cloth and as she wiped, Johnny's face began to brighten. Soon it was time for the polishing. Mama buffed and she buffed those shoes and it wasn't long until the shoes looked like brand new again. How happy Johnny was. Hugging his mom around the neck, he whispered to her, in her ears. Thank you, Mama. They're all new again. Now, I love that little thought. And I like the word new because it means never existing before, for the first time, or different or fresh. Just think about that. How often we look to get something new. Now, I know a lot of you guys, especially boys, they love their sneakers. I have a grandson who just loves new sneakers. And when you get new things, you do not want to put a scratch on them. You don't want to put a scuff mark on them. You just want everything to look just perfect. Doesn't always happen after a day. But anyway, we'll go on. Johnny didn't mess his shoes on purpose. He just got caught in the storm. He cried and thought that they were all ruined, but when his mom got through cleaning them, it was as if nothing had ever happened to them. Did you ever do something wrong and you felt really terrible? Your heart inside looked kind of like Johnny's shoes. Sometimes things in our lives that we have no control over and everything seems to be all messed up. Did you know that Jesus can make all things new for you. Think about it, wow. Yes, he can. In 2 Corinthians 5, 17, it says, old things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. That's got to be how Johnny felt when mom washed those shoes and buffed them. And she took everything that was muddy and she took it out. Well, Jesus does that. When our lives become dirty on the inside, when things seems all messed up, we can take it to Jesus. He's a great friend. <laughs> no matter how many times you mess things up, no matter how many mistakes you make, no matter how bad things may look, Jesus will be there to make all things new for you. I hope that this year, and through all of that's happening around here right now, it's, it's going to be the greatest year that you ever have. Being able to look back through all of this time and being able to spend time with your family, being able to spend time at home. And yeah, I know you got to do schoolwork, but you know what? That's okay. 
but do it with joy. Do it with Jesus inside of you. Do it because God has made a way for each and every one of you. So we love you and we'd love to hear from you today. God bless you and remember that Jesus makes everything beautiful. God bless you. Hello, I'm glad to have you again. <laughs> Come join me for this few minute exercise. You're gonna love it. It is a fun exercise. So get up your sofa or your chair and join me for a few minutes. Just a few minutes. You're gonna love it. It is fun. All right, we're gonna start with a vertical jump. Okay, vertical jump like she toe. I mean your toe, uh, shoulder width, and uh, point forward and be ready, set, go. Count to 12, okay. Go, that's one set. Two seconds. Another set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Second set. Hey, if you're tired, take as long breaks you you can, okay? But for me, three seconds is enough. Are you ready? For the third set. Come on, we can do this. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. Woo. Good job, you did it. This is our first set. All right, breathe. Breathe. Good. All right, now we're gonna go to the ground for our next exercise. We're gonna try to work, we're gonna work on our app. So this is called Slow Bicycle. Lay down on the ground, flat. All right, raise your knee, core tight, and slowly. Like you riding a bicycle. You all know how to ride a bicycle. If you don't, come and teach you. You might have a couple bruises. Uh, you'll be fine. Count to 12. Good. First set. Three minutes. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. By the second set, you start filling it. You're up. Take a few extra break if you need it. But you gotta keep pushing. You can do it. Let's go. We got this. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow, you see, it wasn't that hard. Oh, man. Oh, guess what? I'm just getting warmed up. Woo! Yeah. How you doing? Come on. How you doing? Good. Yeah. All right. Our next exercise will be ice skill. All right. Count set of 12. Okay, I think we are seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, good. I move back here. Oh man, it feel good. Yeah, it feel good. Woo, feel good. All right, next one. Let's go, next set. All right. All right. Like you ice skating, you know? Just picture yourself ice skating. It wasn't that bad. You having fun ice skating, right? Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Hey, if you know me, I'm from Africa. I don't, we don't have ice or snow over there. But you know, I'm doing this. Oh, come on, you can do it. Good job. I see you guys having fun. Whew. And I'm too. You having fun? I'm having fun. We are happy. What a beautiful day. Sunshine. Oh, you gotta be thankful for that. I'm telling you. All right, the last one. Two, three, four. See, you see what I'm doing? The toe touching. That's right. Hey, come on, work it out. Put a little flare on that thing. Hey, I'm telling you, you got this. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm seeing. Oh, you see, so my lady's doing even better. You guys, are doing... come on, man. Let's do it, guys. Yeah, good job. All right, thank you for joining me for this exercise. Come back again, I have more for you next time. See you next time. Hey guys, how are you doing? Wow, it's good to, good to be here today, I hope um, Hope you're having a good time, you know, I know we're kind of like, you know, having to stay home and stuff like that, but you know what, we do too, we're home. But you know what, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Do you know that you can drum on almost any, anything? You can, but you gotta be careful, you don't wanna ruin no furniture. Do you know what this thing is called? This is called a cajon. Everybody say cajon, cajon. It's spelled C-A-J-O-N. You know what I used to say? I thought it was a Cajun. I went and said, you have any Cajuns I can buy? And they went, a Cajun? And so then I figured out it's pronounced cajon. Well, this is a cajon. And this is a drum. It's a way that you can drum sitting down on top of it. You know, you don't have to have a whole drum set. <laughs> Although I love drum sets. But anyways, no, I'll show you how to do this, okay? Um, it's, you, got, you hit this here. You get different notes you can hit here. You can hit here. That you know, you can do all kinds of rhythms on this thing, and you know, it is so cool, it's fun, it really is. Now, see, I'll show you what you can do, okay? There's all kinds of different stuff on this. Video. sometime and show you all the stuff that you can actually drum on. Wouldn't that be fun? I think it's a blast because once I get going on this, I get carried away. Even when I start going slow.
So, until next time, it was great coming into your house. And you know what? Maybe next time you can have a box you can sit on and you can play along with me. Who knows? You never know. Okay? Thank you, guys. I'll see you around. Stay safe. Goodbye. And by the way, my name is Wally. Wally. See you later, guys. Bye. Okay, today we are going to draw, oh, I've already drawn it. It's a uh, polar bear on a snowstorm. Okay, that was supposed to be a joke. All right, we're gonna do a pirate. Can you say pirate? Pirate. Wow, where'd that come from? Even if you can't say pirate, that's okay, because you're gonna draw one. Okay, now you're gonna do everything that I'm gonna do. All right, now let's make his hat. Start here, give yourself plenty of room because you're gonna do his body, all right? So you're gonna do his hat up like that. It's just a half circle. Okay, now he needs the end of his hat. Just curve it just a little bit like that. All right, you with me? Now, we're gonna make the knot in his hat right on the side, just a circle. Now, it's a bandana, so it's not a hat, so he's gonna have to have something coming out like this, you kind of curve it like that, and then follow it into like that. And then another one, like that. Okay, so far so good. And then like this. Okay, now, you gotta give him a fancy hat. So, he's gonna have, make some circles that we can color in later. Red and white's always good, but you can do whatever you want. Like that, like that, like that. So put some circles on there. And then you're gonna go, this is still part of his hat. You want a couple of circles, one, two. You want another circle, one, another one here, two. Okay, now does your drawing look like that? Let's hope so. Okay, and we're gonna give him a nose. So. You can give him any kind of nose you want. You can be creative. But I'm going to give him a nose like this. A round nose like that. Now he needs eyes. Do you need eyes? I need eyes. Well, he needs eyes. So you give him an eye. Oh, no, don't get ahead of me now. Only one eye. Only give him one eye. Because he's a pirate. And pirates, as we all know, have a patch. Ha! So do his patch, and I'm even gonna give you a minute to color in his patch, like this. Okay, that's a patch over his eye. I think they wear it whether they can see or not, but that's okay, because they're pirates. So he has to keep it on so it doesn't fall off. Nothing worse than getting in the middle of a, of, 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 on a ship taking the gold and you lose your eye patch. They don't take you seriously anymore if you lose your eye patch. Okay, from his nose, you're gonna do a line down here like this, not too long, not too long. Then he has to have ears because he has to hear the cotton talking to him and saying, army bucko. He has to hear them. So I'm gonna give him some ears to make sure he can hear. That's one, two, so far so good. Now he's gonna have to have a mouth because he's gonna have to answer the captain. So make a line like this and we're gonna make the rest of his mouth like this. Okay, because he's going, ah. Now there's another thing that pirates always have. Okay, I don't know why, but they always have bad teeth. So you gotta give him bad teeth. He's got one there, he's got one over here, like that, all right? And you wanna give him a tongue. So we're gonna give him a happy tongue. Put that little rascal right in there, like that. Then put a little line like this for a lip. Now we're gonna finish off his face. 
From his ear, you're gonna go down like this. From his other ear, you're gonna go down like this. Then you're gonna give him what's called jowls, okay? Turn to your neighbor and say jowls. I don't mean you have to go outside and tell your neighbor at the next house. Okay, you just go like that. Now I have to give him a chin. You know how the three little pigs not by the hair of my chinny chin chin? Well, he's got a chinny chin chin down here. There we go, right there like that. So far, so good. Now, every pirate needs hair, at least a little bit. Okay, so we the barber shops are closed. So he hasn't had a haircut for a while. So he's got a few hairs like this and just kind of go whoop, 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 like that. Any, any which way. And his hair sticking out. Whoop, 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 whoop. And he's got a little hair sticking out here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, so far so good. And now he didn't shave because he's a pirate. So we have to give him whiskers. This is how you do whiskers. You ready? And you have to make the sound effects or they don't work. I don't hear you. Hey, I don't think we can finish. I look at my watch and it's four o'clock. Is it your bedtime? Oh, I guess I'm not going by that. Okay, give him a neck. One, two. He's got a skinny neck. Oh, I almost forgot. The main thing of a pirate, to make him look tough like a real pirate, he's gotta have a scar. Even if it's fake, he's gotta have a scar. Okay, so you put a scar like this. Now, doesn't that make him look scarier? Okay. Draw a line like that for his shirt underneath his neck. Now, because we like this guy, we're gonna give him a body. We don't wanna just give him a head. Okay, you go like this for one shoulder, go like this for another shoulder, then down here, right about here, you're gonna go down like this and down like this, okay? Then we're gonna end that off like that, with a little curve, see? Then we're going to go like this. These are his sleeves. One, two. And we're going to give him short sleeves. Ready? One, two. A short sleeve. Now this is where we get tricky. We're going to be fashion designers. We're going to give him stripes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, you ready for the big ones? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you can color those in later. Now, he has to have arms. But don't get carried away. He's a pirate. So we're gonna go down like this, down like this, okay? How about he know that the shoulder bone's connected to the elbow bone? He's gotta have an elbow right there. Doink, there's his elbow. Now let's do his arm. Go straight down like this, straight down like this. But he's got something on his arm because he's a pirate. Uh, hair. Okay. That's a little hair on his arm. Now, this is what you're going to do a hand. Make his hand come out like that. Got it. And you got fingers. One, two, three, four. Connect that. Make a little round thing, a round thing, a round thing, and put his thumb in there. Cartoons don't always have five fingers. How many have five fingers? Whoops. 
Okay. And if you lose one, you go like this. Ah, my thumb. Okay. So, now let's do this one. This one, you're just going to do this. Ah, he's a pirate. Let's put another little thing like that. Whoop. What kind of arm is that? Oh, here we go. I know what he's doing. Arr. Okay. And we're going to make this look like wood. Put a little squiggly lines in like this. Little squiggly lines. Okay. Now, it looks like he went to Cape Cod. Now, we're going to do this as a, called a sash. One, two. Got that? One, oh boy. One, two. Now let's bring this all the way over and touch that. Ah, good. Okay, let's do a knot. Okay, now this one's different than up here. This one's gonna be like this. Go down, across like that. And then down like that. Put a line here. Here it goes up like this. Well, this one's tricky. Down like that. And across like that. And then a line. Now, his pants. How many? How many have pants? Well, maybe you girls don't. Yeah, something I hope. Okay, so let's put his pants. His pants come down like that. His pants come down like that. And let's do a couple wrinkles like that. Here, let's put a couple wrinkles like that. And let's go across. And then up and around like that. So far, so good. Okay, his feet, you go down. And down. Now stop there because he has to have socks. So let's put some socks. Do these like that. How many socks ever fell down? I hate that. Especially when your socks go and they fall down inside your heel. And then it's like, oh, you gotta be kidding. I'm gonna go fix it. All right. His shoe comes like this out. Then come across like this. Then give him a little heel like that and up. Pirates don't tie their shoes. Not because they're lazy, because they have buckles. And here is a buckle, it's a square. And then a little square inside the buckle, like that. Now I hope you didn't draw the other leg because He's a pirate. He has a peg leg, like that. Now we're gonna do this. We're gonna make a circle and go wah, 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 like that, because there's a knot in the wood. And then we're gonna make it look like wood. Okay? And you can color all this in, and his leg, Dot 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 dot. Okay, and what does a pirate say? Draw A R R R R R R R. Welcome to FGIC Kids News. I'm Lawrence Kemmeyer, and here's the update regarding our pie in the face and mallow challenge. Boop, boop, boop. Currently, I am in the lead for being pied in the face with a total of 11 votes. Following me is Reverend Hamlin with six votes. As far as the mallow goes, so far our videographer is in the lead with six votes followed up by myself for four votes. Please don't forget, if you haven't already, send in your votes. Every vote matters. 
okay? Please do that. Hold on, this just in. Getting some late breaking news. Peter Piper picks a peck of pickled peppers. Oh my gosh, how many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? Stay tuned for more information. Boop, boop, boop.